Hello, Patreon patrons. This is the first call of this new experiment that I'm doing, where I open up a Zoom space once a week and invite only my patrons, my patrons, <laughs> to come and and say hello and find out the latest news and meet each other. And nobody came today, and I feel sad about that. And a little mad, sad because, yeah, I really, I miss, I miss you. I miss face to face with the people who, who send support for my work. And I feel mad because I, I want to see you. And I feel scared in case the messages aren't getting to you or in case you are mm, torn about something about continuing to patronize the work that I do. And as I hear myself use the term patron, I, yeah, there's some anger and sadness because there, it, it's, it sounds to me very much like a patriarchal kind of construct of, of like rescuing the starving artist or something like that. Yeah, and I hope that's not why you are a Patreon patron. Mm. And I hope that in the weeks and months to come that this Zoom meeting space will, be, will become uh, more active and I can share in a more kind of like, not just me talking to myself <laughs> uh, and, mm, and really start to weave more relational connection between each of the patrons who who are following my work, or at least who are sending money each month that supports what I'm up to. And what happened in the last week? Well, yesterday, here in Calgary at the Sophia Temple, which is a space held by Eile, Eile Aurora, who is an extraordinary harp player and sound healer and other kinds of healer. Uh, Eile organized and hosted with me to deliver a rage club yesterday. And so 10 brave souls experimented with conscious anger in a variety of ways and received distinctions and new thought maps to integrate, to continue exploring possibilities about shifting their relationship with anger from a relationship where anger is something you try to stifle and avoid and solve and fix and get away from because it's bad, it's wrong, it's dangerous, it means you're stupid, it means you're out of control, it means you're immature, onto a new thought map of anger and a new way of relating with anger as a precious inner resource that you can learn to use consciously to do very responsible things like saying no, saying yes with clarity, saying wait and stop, starting things, ending things, choosing, noticing what you want, asking for what you want, taking a stand for what you want to exist, and more. And the the, the clarity that that came through for me is that radical responsibility starts with radically conscious presence. And this takes anger. And radical integrity starts with anger because I, I need to be, I need to want to be honest. I won't need to want to communicate. I need to want to be in integrity. This was an amazing space. And what's what sprouted from the space is a Rage Club YYC, so a Calgary Rage Club Facebook group. And if anyone you know is in Calgary, or if you're in Calgary and you're interested in being in on this, this movement, this, this growing that's happening in Calgary, please let me know. I've also, in the last week since I recorded the last video up in Edmonton, I clearly came down to Calgary. I had an amazing time traveling with my friend Evie and her partner, Alan, who I had not yet met. 
uh, and we arrived here at at Eileen's place, the Sophia Temple, and I got down to work, catching up with all kinds of communications, and I'm doing a regrouping of my belongings. So as a next culture nomad, I practice radical minimalism, and this means that I don't have stuff in storage. I do have, I did have a small suitcase, like a carrier bag here at Eileen's, and I have a tub over at my friend Siobhan's. And I'm bringing all this stuff together and I'm sending it out of my sphere of, of stewardship. So I've been uh, in touch with people who might be interested in some books that I have and I'm, I'm taking things to be donated to thrift shops nearby. And I love doing this. I love the out with the old, in with the new, out with what I'm using and wanting and what's valuable to me and out with what could be somebody else's treasure. This is so, so satisfying for me. And I'll continue these kinds of tasks in the next couple of days, as well as I will be in some Zoom spaces with the team with whom I'm creating a book about the, the, a book that comes out of Money Club. So it's about the experiments and mm, distinctions, tools, maps that I have been doing to shift out of these these patterns of that I've, that I've lived in that have been mm, fed by underlying patterns, thoughtware, attitudes, behaviors that, that come from this old map of what it means to make money. And, and, and this has been you know, three years of experimenting as the originator of Money Club, using possibility management distinctions and tools and maps and processes to to empower this shift. And I've had a growing team over the three years and, and now I have these two amazing collaborators who want this book to exist. So we're meeting weekly for, for now. I, I'm also meeting with some more teammates. So this is a real theme and this is the next rage space, the next conscious anger space that I will offer will be a five week series about called I Want a Team. And it's about collaboration and teamwork and how to use anger to create teams, how to use anger to create communications with your teammates so that you're creating what you want to be creating and you're not doing it as a lone wolf. So a subtitle for this is Unbecoming a Lone Wolf which is something you might recognize from my adventures last year with Matthew Colombo. We went on the Unbecoming a Lone Wolf tour. It was so fun. I miss Matthew so much. And I may see him soon because what I'm orienting towards, which I've mentioned before and will mention again, is on Wednesday, I will go to the coast. I will have a week or two with my mom on the Sunshine Coast of BC. And then I will fly, which I feel sad about because I, I wanted to do a road trip. And who knows, maybe it will come together to do a road trip after all. But if it doesn't happen, I will fly out east and I will land on September 15th in the Magic Cow Bridge House in New York State, 30 minutes from Utica, New York, in a little town called, village called Cold Creek. And I look forward to sharing adventures from there and I hope more of you will come and zoom in while I'm there. Maybe you'll get in the groove of it while I'm on the Sunshine Coast in the next couple weeks. The next Patreon Zoom call will be September the 8th and I forget what time, so you'll have to look in your, in your messages on Patreon to find out what time that call is. And if, I think I might just share this with others too, since, since I'm, yeah, really wanting 
more people to come to these calls. And if you want to come to these calls, you, you must first be a patron. And that means that the, you sign up for as much money per month as you want to send my way. And this money gets woven into my, my uh, financial uh, income streams. And this is, this is what I use to feed myself, to transport myself, to house myself, and to go to the next training. So this is really what this money is about, is, is if, you, if you support this work, you support transformational trainings that I participate in and that I deliver. And that's a pretty cool thing, I think, to do with this crazy stuff called money. Please let me know, reach out by whatever means you have. Let me know any questions you have and I will see you soon.